Yo, what up, faggots? I know it's been a hot minute since I done content, but today, bitches, today, we gonna do content. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna review the Pocket Candy Palette by Lime Crime. This one that I have is in bubblegum. So we got that. I got some Diamond Crushers because I already have a couple Diamond Crushers, but I wanted a couple more. And I bought this stuff on sale, so these were only these were only five bucks, and these two palettes were like ten bucks a piece. Jesus fucking Christ! Everything is going to shit already in the first minute. <laughs> oh God! But um, I also got this bad boy, the Venus Extra Small in rose gold. Uh, I actually got this for my mom, but she said that she didn't like it when it came in the mail. So yeah. You guys, let's, um, let's just jump into it. <laughs> so I'm gonna start off by just doing the basics of my face. I'm not gonna film it because, A, every single beauty YouTuber films that, and B, I do not have a lot of space on my phone. So just know that I've upgraded my products. I'm using the Tarte foundation and concealer. I'm not using that because I'm about to go to bed. And I'm also gonna use this Gimme Brow bullshit and this fancy ass mascara that everyone likes. So I will return. Okay, so foundation is on, eyebrows are on, eyelashes are on. Well, not really, just the mascara, but y'all get the picture. So now I'm going to put, Jesus, that's not a good angle. Um, fuck, it's not like, shit. I don't know where I can put this where I don't have to hold it. Like, fuck. Um, maybe right here? Okay, perfect. Alright, so now, you might have seen me review this on Instagram, but this is the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in shade Melancholia. And I... I'm glad that I bought this on sale because I probably wouldn't pay full price for this. And if not because I think it's bad, I've just seen better. That and girl, your tubes are small. Like, this is the actual size of the thing. It's tiny. Alright, uh, she's a little bit streaky, but that's... Fine, the streakiness kind of just goes away when it dries. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is, just like my Instagram post, if y'all have seen it, I'm gonna do this side with the Venus Extra Small, and this side with the Pocket Candy. So, yeah. <sighs> hmm. Hello. <laughs> All right. Oh yeah, I'm also going to do this color on half of my lips, just so y'all can see, because uh, this side's going to be way more glam than the other side, and this like totally goes with that. I love the way that the Diamond Crushers smell. Also, I know that most of these diamond crushers are toppers, but like, this one is so opaque you could wear it as a lipstick. So yeah, there she is. All right, and I have to stop recording for a second because I'm running out of space.
Hey, so, uh, sorry the cult, the quality just dropped, like, 10 million points, but I'm having a really hard time getting the footage off my phone, and I'm having to stop, like, every couple of seconds because my phone is constantly running out of space, so I hope you can understand my need to use my webcam and its shitty camera just to get this stupid video out and done with, because I'm about to have a fucking aneurysm. <laughs> so, in case the footage gets lost forever, I just put on Melancholia, and I put on Strip, because we're doing half and half. One half is going to be with this palette, and the other half is going to be with this palette. Venus, and yeah. Alright. So, um, I'm sorry, I'm just really, really annoyed right now because nothing is working, and I need a real camera, please donate to my Ko-Fi and my Patreon. Links are in the description, so I can get a camera. But, um, so this is the Venus Extra Small. She's a real tiny bitch. And those are the shades. And I've already kind of used this, as you might have seen on my Instagram, which I've probably mentioned that before. But, um... Yeah, this one is like, it's something that I got for my mom, so it's not even something that I got for me. And it's just like, kind of not my aesthetic, so it's already not looking too great. But, you know, um, we'll just, we'll try it just to try it for the video, because why not? That's what being a YouTuber is like, you just try things just for videos. Um... And when I was using these initially, um, the pickup was not that great. So what you have to do for both of these palettes, what you have to do is you have to spray the brush and really dig in to get some of these colors to show up. And I understand that some people really like a subtle look, but girl, I'm not one of those fucking people. <laughs> so. This is also going to be a hell of a time trying to do this in my webcam. So, uh, pray for me. <laughs> Actually, I should put my mirror, uh, I'll put it, like, over here. Will it stay? Will it balance? Okay, good. Uh, I have a mirror. It's over here. <laughs> but yeah. So this color right here. When I was using this, I actually kind of liked this color because it's a nice, um, that's kind of on it. It's, it's this one. This one is a nice base color for me for a natural look. So this color I might use more than once, but as for the other colors, I'm not really too sure. Holy shit. I made my brush so wet, it's changing the color of the fucking color. Oh my god, I might have just ruined my palette. Because they suck at makeup so bad. Okay, yeah, that's definitely looking a lot different when I spray the brush. And like, go in, like, in my pictures, this is like kind of an orangey color, but like, Oh wow, I guess you can't really see because my camera sucks. But this is like pink in person. Like, ooh girl. Maybe this is the palette that I don't need to do that with. Maybe I only did that for the one palette and I just didn't remember because I'm retarded. Okay, so then what I did is I took the um this color, and I just deepened up the crease a little bit, because that's what all the fabulous makeup people do, and I just want to try it, see if I can make up, and I learned that I kind of can, I just gotta be careful, well not the crease, but like the, like the crease in the corner. A little bit down here. Yeah, there we go. And then we just go. Tilt 
to blend her out some. Blendy, blendy, blendy. I'm not very good at keeping this all clean. Yeah, that's like, that's okay. That looks kind of better than what I have on Instagram. Yeah, on camera it just looks like, bitch, what are you talking about? <laughs> it's like, yeah, I can't I, but like, you can't really see much of anything because my camera's fucking shitty on my webcam. Okay, so I did that one, and now I'm going to do this pink shimmer shade, which I think is called Charm, and I'm just going to kind of put that all over my lid. Just so that it makes it a little dynamic. And a little bit shiny, and you can't even see it on camera. Lovely. Yeah, I need an actual real people camera. Because, like, I can see it, and I'm not even in that great of lighting. So, yeah. There's that. And then there's this, uh, this kind of gold shade up here. And I put that in my inner corner and I'm just gonna flick some of that deep color off my brush because I'm too lazy to clean my brush <laughs> so um, we just dip in here and then come on pick up please thanks And yeah. Oh god, she's a little bit invisible. Okay. Well, that's fine. It's mostly just like. The only difference between those two shimmer shades is that one is a little shinier than the other. And this one is like. It's the shinier one, but it's kind of just pure shine. See, so yeah, that's one eye. For eyeshadow. And then what I did after that was I put on a tight line, my water line, which I can hopefully maybe recreate a little. And I also did a winged eyeliner that I kind of smoked out. Sorry, I know you guys aren't really seeing much right now, but you just gotta live with it so that I can see what the hell I'm doing. Yeah, she got a bit more smudged than the first time, but whatever. So that's the bottom part. Jesus! My camera's making it look like I got that shit everywhere. Because I just can't pick up the difference in the black and the purple. Oh my god. But yeah, and then I just lined it and smudged it out. And again, I'm really sorry about the shit quality. It's just that I can't even with my phone right now. Okay, come on. Work, please.
and now we need a bit of a sister smudge. And I know that this looks a bit different than what I did on Instagram. That's because, like, I didn't just photograph the finished look of whatever I'm doing right here. I'm actually redoing it. And normally I use my left hand to do my left side, as you see me kind of switch, but, like, I don't know what's making me use my right hand. All right, so I look kind of busted and like shit on camera, but that's fine because I also look busted in person. I hate living. Um, so now we're going to do the other eye and we're going to have a time doing the other eye because if I remember correctly, the shades that are in the... Um, other palette are really like, god damn it, my brush is stuck. But the shades that are in the, that are in this palette are really shiny and sparkly, but you can't really see the color. And since my camera doesn't even like to pick up shiny sparkliness, it's gonna look like I have nothing on at all. Hooray, that's exactly what we wanted. Isn't it? Isn't that exactly what we want? Hmm? Isn't that great? Mm -hmm. I love being a beauty YouTuber with no real camera. It's the best. But okay. So first... Oh yeah, I should show you guys. Um, oh, you can't even really see it, but there's like a lot of fallout in person lot. I don't know how my camera's not picking it up at all. But if you look up top around the pink and the orange, a lot of fallout. Yeah, and I know a lot of people complained about um, this palette in particular. And I can't say that I agree with everything people have said about the pocket candy palette. But I can say it is a little hard to pick up the colors, but I spray the brush and I don't really have too many terrible issues. Like I said, it's just very shiny. They're kind of like highlighters on me. So, yeah, but I'm just going to dip into the pink shade up here, this one, and really go in, like really go in, and then look at all of now, <laughs> we're going to put it in the eye. You see, in person, this looks like really pink. And I've heard people say that they'll use pixie epoxy and they'll, um, and they'll really go in and they'll spray the brush and they won't get anything. But me, all I'm doing is I'm spraying my brush. And I'm digging. And I'm getting a decent pastel color payoff. I mean, it's a pastel color. So it's not like really super duper pigmented. But like... I mean, yeah, it's kind of hard to see on camera. Because my camera's fucking shit. <laughs> As I've said like a million times. Maybe if I shine a light on me, y'all can see. At least you can see the shine. Okay, yeah, this side just looks like I've been in a fight on camera. <laughs> And this eye just looks shiny so far. Yeah, maybe I'll try to switch back to my phone camera for the, like, final few seconds so maybe you guys can see, like, something. <laughs> I'm really sorry. My life is shit right now, <laughs> as y'all can see. But uh, now I'm dipping into the blue shade that's in the middle. I don't know why I'm saying shade, I should just say color. Um, 
I didn't spray this brush. The glue pays off pretty decently. Uh, I'm just going to put it in my inner corner. Because that's honestly what everyone does with this palette, is that they go all pink and they put glue in there. And then, like... Yeah, it's pretty blue. Okay. And then I'm going to dip into this purple color. This one. And I'll put this in my outer V, is what it's called. Like, outer corner, I don't fucking know. This spot right here is where that goes. And I know that on Instagram, I put a white eyeliner on, and it didn't really show up. So because that was a flop, we are going to try black eyeliner on this side with like a white waterline because, I mean, white waterlines just look good with pastel colors and looks. So. See if I can even get the white to freaking come off. Because, like, it kind of mixed with the product when I was trying to put it as, like, an actual eyeliner eyeliner, not just in my waterline like I usually do. Uh, yeah, it's not really... It's not really showing up, like I can see it on my, I can see it on my eyelashes in person, I can't even see it at all on camera. So whatever, we're just gonna say that we did it, because we did it. It's on camera that I tried to put it on, okay? Fight me. Alright, so now, let's hope that this goes well and isn't a travesty. Because normally, when you put on an eyeliner, you're supposed to rest your... Oh, well, I guess I can rest my elbow here, okay. Yeah, something that helps you put in your eyeliner is when you rest your elbow on something. And then that can help you make a straight line. And this is already looking kind of bad. Yeah, I, I don't know why my lines always look terrible on that side, but they just do. And now we're going to go over it with liquid and hope that we don't die. I'm sorry, my eyeliner is literally the worst, but it is 2 a.m. right now, and I am half dead. Yeah, that's, that's as good as we're getting right now, honestly. Yeah, I think my mascara might have come off. It's starting to look like I don't have eyelashes anymore. Whoopsie. Yeah. 
They might have picked up some of my eyeshadow. Anyway, there's that. And I'm also going to put on highlighters because every beauty guru does highlighters. I'm not going to bother with blush though because I just don't wear blush. This one is like the. Uh, it's a Too Faced, Tutti Fruity smelling thing, and it's the strawberry one. I love the way this one smells. It smells fantastic. And I don't know if you can really see much of it in camera. It doesn't look like you can, but it's like pink with a gold ship. And it's gorgeous. I love it as a, um, fuck is my big brush. But I love it because you can use it as both a highlighter and a blush, but okay, where is my, there it is, I was looking for this bad boy, but um, you can use it as both a highlighter and a blush, since highlighter and blush just literally go in the same place, so that's, it's nifty for that reason, and I'm just doing this so it looks less like I just kind of put the stick on my face, and more like I took a brush to my face, and it's not really working out that great, so whatever, we'll just deal with it. <laughs> and now, we put on the other highlighter, which is the same Too Faced stick thing, but in the shade Lemonade or something. I don't know, it smells like lemonade. So that's what I assume it is. So now we just put this over here. Yeah, there we go. And this one, you can really see the texture of my face with. <laughs> so it's not the most flattering on me, but I'm sure it's flattering on other people. It also smells really good. Yeah. When you blend this one out, it just kind of takes the some of my foundation right off my face. Uh, but that's okay. We tried here, ladies and gentlemen. We tried today. An attempt was made, and it was recorded. So yeah, I'm also, you know what, since I haven't put on this one for the video, where I'm reviewing everything and trying everything on, I should put this one on. This is the shade Pink Pearl, and I tried this on for my Discord. And I was a little bit shook and disappointed when I got it because on the website it's more of a subtle pink, but in person, it is literally white. And it's not a bad shade. It smells good just like my other Diamond Crushers. And she performs just like other Diamond Crushers. It's just that unless you put her over top of a pink lipstick, you can't see the pink shift. Which is literally why myself and probably most people buy it. It's called Pink Pearl. So, like, literally why? Yeah, over top of pink lipstick, she doesn't look that different. From, oh my gosh, look at all that transfer. This is a lot. But, um, yeah, over top of Melancholia, she doesn't look that different from Strip, aside from the fact that Strip is a bit more holographic in person, and Pink Pearl is more like glitter. So, uh, now that I've put everything on, I guess I should say my final thoughts on everything. I'm sorry, this thing's been falling all the fucking time. Uh, actually, maybe I should try to do this on my phone. I don't know, let me check. Because what I've been doing is I've been trying to upload footage from my phone to Google Drive, and the reason I am having an aneurysm and using my webcam is because it wasn't fucking working. <laughs> so yeah, I need a real camera. Please, please, please donate to my Patreon, my Ko-Fi, and use my, uh, my, my links to, um, I have links to stores where, uh, you can 
Where the fuck is my footage? God damn it. I'm about to literally have a fucking aneurysm. Because I've been waiting forever for this freaking footage to upload and then it upload. What the hell? It says waiting to upload on my phone, but I don't know why it's waiting. What is it waiting for? Is it waiting for Google servers to not be shit? Like, look, it says waiting to upload. But it doesn't say why. Actually, maybe I should, like, see myself. Yeah, it says waiting to upload. But it doesn't tell me why it's waiting to upload. I keep getting things where, like, it'll upload, but it will say, oh, it's processing. But it won't tell me how long it takes to process. It won't tell me why it needs to process, because it's an MP4 file. And it's just fucking broken. Like I, I legitimately don't understand why it hates me so goddamn much. So I'm gonna try to upload the footage again. And then I will try to get some editing footage on my finished face, because my Android camera is way better than my shitty webcam. <laughs> like, way better than you guys have probably seen it in some of my videos. Okay, it says it's uploading. I can't really see it, though. Oh, you kinda can. Uh, I'd rather do a garbage stream than do garbage content, honestly. Because y'all don't see, but like behind the scenes when I'm doing stuff on my phone, there is a lot of uploading and stopping and then redoing it. Because I only have so much space on my phone, so I can only have like, I think the longest clip in this video from my phone is three minutes long so far, and that took an hour to upload properly. So yeah, doing content from my phone is very difficult. And then when I do it from my webcam, it's very easy, but... The footage looks like this, and it looks like trash, and I hate it. So yeah, <laughs> please donate to my Patreon or my Ko-Fi and get me a video camera, please. I am in need. <laughs> Your girl is in need. Uh, but okay, so I guess I'll, um... Uh, maybe come back on my phone and end this right now because I don't know how long this is. Alright, so this is the final look on my phone. Maybe y'all can my highlighters, maybe y'all can't. Maybe you can see the colors and everything, maybe y'all can't. Hopefully this uploads. Um, I'm also trying to hold a mirror that has my lights on it, so y'all can see everything. Yeah, um, I personally prefer the eyeshadows on this side, and like, the thing I love the most, honestly, is the diamond crushers. I'm not super crazy about the eyeshadow palettes. I mean, I do like the this one. But it's not really my favorite, and it's not something that I'd pay $30 for, like how it is full price. As for this one, maybe it looks okay to some people, but that's just not my aesthetic. So overall, those are my thoughts. Tell me yours in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and tolerating me this long. I love you. Bye.